This video will cover the circular array tool and we will make a quick and easy quilting design using this tool. Open the software and work your way through the wizard, selecting new graphic because you want a blank screen to create this array. Choose the jumbo hoop with the 26 foot to create a large area to do the design and then click finish. The circular array tool creates copies of an original design and the copies are placed either in an arc or in a circle. The first thing we're going to do is draw a circle with the create ellipse tool. You'll want to hold down the control key in order to get a perfect circle. Press the, the space bar and then change either the width or the height to one inch and press enter. Now let's move the or, uh, circle by changing the X value to 0 and the Y value to 2. Pressing Enter will move that in place. The circular array tool is located right under the edit text tool and if, you, if it's not visible remember to hold the cursor on the black triangle and then uh, move your mouse to select the Create Circular Array. Notice the tool options and the software will automatically remember the last array that you created. So those tool option values are based on the last array just like the rectangular array remembers the last array that was created. You'll notice that the start and end angle are different in this sample. And that uh, means that the shape is going to be an arc shape instead of a circle. If I uncheck clockwise, the array is going to be formed in a counterclockwise manner versus a clockwise manner. And notice that when it is unchecked, more circles will be added to maintain that same angle that is dictated in the step angle. For this particular exercise, we're going to use a complete circle. So I'm going to make my start angle and end angle the same. Now you can use um, 0 and 360 as well, or if your start angle and end angles are the same, then you're going to form a complete circle. Let's go ahead and change the step count and press enter to activate that change. And you can see that the step angle changes based on how many objects are put in the step count value box. And at, if we increase that to 8, again the step angle adapts based on what the step count um, value is. It's a lot easier usually to decide how many steps you want versus what angle you want. If clone objects is checked, that means that whatever is done to that original object will affect what is done to the other objects. We'll talk about contour steps in a minute. Let's go ahead and change the step count to 16 and press enter. Now if I wanted to move these closer together, I would hold the shift key down and I can move my objects on plane. Notice that the original object is still there. This is just a virtual um, schematic of what is going to happen if we decide to apply the circular array. If I'm not ready to apply that array, I simply click on select another shape. The array goes away and my original object is shown. If I reselect that object, since the circular array tool is still activated, you get that um, same preview of the array. If I want to select that object and just the individual object, I would click on the rectangle selection tool and then a dialog box appears asking me if I want to apply the array. I can either click yes if I'm ready or no if I'm not. So let's go back now and click on our create circular array. Notice it reverted back to the 
last used array. We didn't apply that original or the changed array, so it's going to change back. So we'll input the values that we want and again hold down the shift key and move them closer together. Now let's add some contour steps. And this is going to be the number of concentric lines of circular arrays. So if I input three and press enter, it's going to give me a preview of what these arrays are going to look like. And I can again move them close to center and then click on apply circular array. Now is the time to be patient because the software is processing this change. And when it processes, we will eliminate the fill because right now the array has a painted fill. And all we have to do is click none. And you can see that we have a running stitch. And this makes a fun, unique quilting design. If you want to watch it stitch out, remember you have slow redraw and you can click on start and watch the design stitch out. You'll get different types of designs by clicking and moving those circles closer together and this would be done before you apply the circular array.